use Google controls to navigate the web. One day soon, they might be driving our cars. The internet giant has been testing autonomous self-driving cars in the U.S. Google engineers took one reporter on a test ride in Mountain View, California. The Toyota Prius, equipped with sensors, traveled through Google's campus and even along the highway on a route programmed into the car's GPS system. AGN's Nick Baltus is all revved up about it. Okay. Google self-driving cars, Nick Bontis. How on earth could this work? Do you remember that old TV show, Knight Rider, with yes. the kit car? Yes. So it had a computer and it was talking to you? It's something like that. These cars have lasers, they have cameras, they have maps and navigation systems. And what they can do is calculate with sensors how close the car is in front of them, how close the car is behind them, the white dashed lines in the lanes. And Google has developed this computerized system where these cars drive themselves. And they've actually been testing it for several weeks now. The cars that they have in the laboratory have driven already 140,000 miles. So this isn't a laboratory experiment this is actually this, real this is not the future yeah. okay do we know that a, a self-driving car is gonna be better than a human driven car <laughs> well I wouldn't trust one yet when uh, Google does the testing they actually have a live navigator in the driver's seat and they actually have a software engineer in case something happens to the computer system in the passenger seat but we know for sure that computers have faster reaction times than human beings. We know that for sure. So technically speaking, it's going to get to the point eventually where a computer is going to be a safer driver because there's going to have thousands and thousands of sensors making these calculations much faster than the human brain can. And of course, as drivers, as human drivers, sometimes we're not paying attention to the road. We're listening to the radio. Our phone is ringing. And we also have this thing called a blind spot as a human driver, which a computer, of course, is never going to have because they're going to have sensors there. So technically speaking, I think in maybe five or ten years, absolutely, the computers are going to be able to drive better than humans. Maybe this should have been my first question, but why? I mean, Google, what, yeah. what's the connection here? Interesting story about Google getting into this. Well, we know that Google is famous for search. So the one thing that we know for sure is that these cars are harvesting off their Google Maps database. We know that they have now mapped almost every road all over the world. So that navigation system is part of the driving system. So we can appreciate that part. Google Maps has also now introduced traffic flow. So you can go online to Google Maps and not only see where you're going, but they actually have live dynamic updates of traffic flow, which is great. And the other way that Google makes all their money is advertising. Well, guess what, Connie? If you're sitting in a car relaxing and the car is driving by itself, guess what Google can now sell to you on the monitor? More advertising. Commercial. So you see, that's right, commercial. So there is some insight behind this madness that Google is getting into. Well, is this, is this the future of car driving. Well, I think it is actually. You know, we've been dreaming of having, you know, space cars and cars that levitate and cars that automatically drive. We do today have luxury cars that have sensors. They can tell how far a car is in front of them, how far a car is behind them. We do today have cars that can parallel park for you. So they have sensors on the side. So the interesting thing is we're moving closer and closer to what Google has developed here in the laboratory. And I think maybe in five or ten years, definitely for my children, chances are they probably won't be driving their own cars. Well, we need licenses then. So <laughs> many things come into question, that's don't right, they? That's right. That's right. Well, they'll be able to drive you around then, right? <laughs> It'll be much easier for the computer to drive me around. That's and, right. And hopefully safer for safer all Safer too, us. absolutely. Thank you, Nick Bonas. We'll see you again next time. Thanks. Happy driving. Happy trails. Okay.